Inventor Marcelo de Luz drove his solar-powered car, the Power of One, into Winnipeg yesterday. He's traveled over 30,000 kilometers since he began his journey just over a year ago, taking him all around North America. What inspired me to build this car was watching the news. I saw a glimpse about a solar car race in Australia called the World Solar Challenge. And I thought, that's the future. How cool is that? A race of cars powered by light. I didn't want just to build a, a car to compete. I want to take on the greatest challenge on the planet for a solar car. And for me, the challenge was to drive a solar car to the Arctic Circle. Deleuze will head west from Winnipeg, heading through Saskatchewan and Alberta before driving north to to the Arctic Circle once again. We drove around Ontario, going around the Great Lakes. We have been driving across most of the United States, most of Canada, without any problems. It is an electric car. It has a bank of batteries that store power, an electric motor that drives the car. But instead of plugging to the wall to charge the batteries, we plug into the sun. The top of the car is covered in solar cells. The cells convert light into electricity. As you can imagine, because of the odd shape of the car, it does look like a UFO. While driving the car in Alaska, someone called 911 about a UFO on the road. So the police dispatched two cruisers to intercept the UFO. They blocked the solar car. We couldn't go anywhere. It was funny. And so far, I've been pulled over by the police over 20 times. In Washington, D.C., I got pulled over by the Secret Service. And then the next day, I got pulled over by the SWAT. 